How's it going guys? So this is part two on talking about chemical kinetics. In this video, we're going to explore more relationships about chemical reactions, rate law, integrated rate law. So hopefully in the future, we can better explain enzyme reactions and reactions regarding the biochemistry. I didn't tag the first video up above for chemical kinetics, but for a quick summary, we introduced the idea behind rate, we introduced the idea behind effective and ineffective collisions, and we introduced our first relationship between concentration and rate with using the rate law. In today's video, we're going to explore a new relationship. This is a relationship between time and rate. And through using the integrated rate law, we can find the concentration of our reactant at any certain time throughout the reaction, as long as we know the initial and the rate order. Crucial part about this new relationship is that we have to make sure to build a linear relationship between concentration and time. But we know by studying the rate law that at different rate orders, we have a different relationship with rate, depending on how the reactant impacts the overall reaction rate. But with our first example of integrated rate law, we're going to talk about a zeroth order reaction. We know that zeroth order, the concentration, has no impact on the overall rate. So the differential rate law is just the rate constant. Now, this makes things a little easier for the integrated rate law in telling the reaction of the reactant at any given time. When it comes to the zeroth order integrated rate law, we can build a linear relationship simply just by plotting concentration by time. And the linear relationship, or the slope of that linear relationship, is just the negative rate constant. When it comes to talking about the first order integrated rate law, things change a little bit since we know when we were talking about the rate law and the differential rate law, the concentration actually had an impact on the overall rate of the reaction. So the differential rate law is a rate constant and the concentration of the reactant. In order to get a linear relationship with time for the integrated rate law, we have to take the natural log of the concentration. So when we're looking at the integrated rate law of a first order reaction, the y-axis is the natural log of the concentration. So this helps us build a linear relationship not between the concentration and time, but the natural log of the concentration. And so from this, we can find the concentration at any given time throughout the reaction. And the slope in this case is also just the negative rate constant. Let's take a second just to breathe because I know I said the words rate, reaction, a lot of times in the last few minutes. So just take a moment, take a breath, and then we're going to talk about the second order integrated rate law. So when talking about integrated rate law, in my opinion, the second order is the most difficult because we know that the concentration in a second order reaction has such an overall impact on the rate of the reaction. I know it's slightly cut off, but for the differential rate law, the equation is the rate equals the rate constant times the concentration of A squared. It makes things a little tricky when trying to find a linear relationship between concentration and time. And the only way we can achieve this is by finding the inverse of the concentration. So we have a linear relationship between the inverse of the concentration and time. And so the slope of this linear relationship is the rate constant. So when doing these graphs, you're not finding the concentration at the given time, you're finding the inverse. And from there, we can find the concentration. Just finished talking about the three most common examples for rate orders and the integrated rate law. Finding a relationship between concentration and time for three of the conditions. The idea of being able to connect time and concentration of a reaction allows us to open the door to more relationships like shelf life and half life. If we understand the theory of integrated rate law, understanding half life and shelf life is kind of easy. Half life being the time it takes for the concentration of the reactants to be cut in half, and they have simpler versions of the equations tweaked to make calculating half life a little easier. Shelf life being the time it takes for the concentration to drop 5%. Now you might be wondering about the Arrhenius equation I have there. This is the relationship between the rate constant and temperature. Do you remember when we were talking about rate? I mentioned the different factors that can increase the reaction rate, such as temperature, concentration, surface area, and a catalyst. Well, the Arrhenius equation helps us build a perspective towards temperature. 
The Arrhenius equation helps us show that as we increase temperature, we can increase the rate of the reaction. As you see here in this example, as you increase the temperature roughly by 10 degrees Celsius, the rate would roughly double. Now, reactions with high activation energies are slow and are very temperature dependent because in order to breach that activation energy, they're very dependent on temperature to give it that kinetic motion. Increasing the temperature of a system is gonna increase the kinetic energy of the molecules in that system. So it's gonna help speed it up and give more energy in the collisions that the molecules go through. And while we're on the conversation of talking about activation energy, catalysts like enzymes, which are biological catalysts, help reactions go faster by lowering that activation energy. But in order to talk more about how enzymes work, we have to explore the kinetics behind chemical equilibrium. So in the next video, we're gonna explore chemical equilibrium in hopes to better understand enzymes and how they work in the body. I just wanna say thank you for tuning in all the way to the end of the video. If you're interested in downloading any of the graphics that I use today to explain chemical kinetics, uh, integrated rate law, or maybe even the Arrhenius equation, there's a free download on my website, completely 100% free. All you have to do is put in your email and they'll get sent to you. Also, the very cute stickers that I have on the left are from one of my favorite artists on Instagram, Apple Cheeks. I'm also gonna link her information in the description below. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and good luck studying.